Hello everyone. So today me and Mark, well Mark and I, are going to Kingsport to finish Christmas shopping. Um, I still have to get some presents for my son and a couple more things for my daughter and then I'll be coming home. Um, it's very, it's been a very uneventful morning so far. Last night we went out to eat and me and him are both so short-tempered and so stubborn that it's hard for us to not argue, but I try my best. I do my best. And, um, instead of coming home and having a good night, I sent him to his house and I stayed here because I just knew we weren't going to get along. So I didn't want to deal with that. Um, that's the best part about living separately from the person that you're with. Um, especially for me because I've got borderline personality disorder and I have a short temper and I am particular. So it's best for me in my situation to live by myself like how we do. But he's out there waiting so I'm going to get my shoes on and then I will show you guys where we are. Well, I mean where we're going and what we're doing. So ready. Jelly, why are you laying in there like that? You weirdo. Me, oh my mouth. Why is that flag still up? Huh. I wonder why they didn't come and get that. So we had to stop here at Mark's house. This is Mark's house. Big old giant creepy old Victorian house. <laughs> it is a really nice place. Um, what is that over there in the yard? Looks like an animal. Uh, it is a nice place. I used to live here with him when we first met. But uh, that turned out a really bad idea. And actually, um, I'll show you what my old house used to look like. Because it's right over here. His um, ex-mother-in-law lives here now. That's my old house right there. The little tiny one. I lived in that house for a few years. I think three years. Um, yeah. Not a good time in my life because that's when I was on drugs. And I was a mess. My life was a mess. I was a horrible person. I was selfish um, yeah I was it was a bad time thank goodness for growth right because if it wasn't for um, you know uh, honestly if it wasn't for Mark staying with me um, regardless of my mental illness I don't know where I would be right now in my life um, but yeah he's coming back so we are gonna go Okay, we are downtown, and now we're going into the antique store that I usually find my keys at. So, let me show you. Here we go. This is called P&J's Antiques. What? But what? Hello. Good, how are you? Well, this is a take store in the place that I find the keys. I usually back in here. the keys <clears throat> there's all kinds of cool stuff here Any? oh here we go keys see keys two ninety nine each so, let's see here. 
That one's pretty cool. Oh, that one's cool. That one's weird. Oh, look at this one. That one's really cool. But this is where I usually find all my keys. That one's cool. Usually, if you go into antique stores, um, you can ask them, and they usually have different types of old keys. And a lot of times, they have a lot of cool clock keys and things like that. Oh, that one's cool. Um, but I'm going to look through these, and I'll show you guys. <clears throat> So it has it upstairs. Hey, look at all this cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Old oh, coffee grinder. That's another thing I really like to collect, old glass bottles. Look at these little pewter statues. Someday I'll be able to come into a place like this and just buy a really cool piece of furniture. Until then. So cute. There's all kinds of stuff in here. That's one thing I love about the South. So many antique stores everywhere. What's this? Wooden cigar box. Huh. That's cool. Mark likes cigar boxes. I bet he would like that. Oh, that's a cool trunk. I could literally spend all day in places like this. What is this? Early 1900s brass and copper bed warmer. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. A bed warmer. Looks like you put hot coals in it. <clears throat> like the, this place is so big. I've actually bought a lot of things from here. I can see it just keeps going and going. I can go all the way back down that way. Uh, but guys, I'm going to look around a little bit more and then I'll show you what I get when I'm finished. Alright guys, we are now in Walmart. Um, here to get some stuff for my son. Yeah, I'm not feeling the greatest today, so didn't want to be out too long. I'm waiting for Mark to get out of the bathroom. I swear, y'all, every time I go in anywhere, people stare at me all the time. All right, you guys, I am back home. Uh, Mark went to go to Blountville to get his mail. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the little bit of stuff that I got. Um, I got the cats a new cat bed. Right now, they're at Walmart for $10. Uh, I got Allison um, some new sketch stuff. Of course, that's not her full present. I usually take her out and let her buy um, some clothes and things like that. I got some candies for stocking stuffers. Um, and then for Aiden, my 13-year-old son, 
I have a 13 year old son. Can you believe that? I, I just can't. I can't believe I've got a 13 year old child. I got him this Call of Duty, the newest one, the Black Ops Cold War. Um, and then I got him a $50 Xbox card so he can get on live and all that kind of stuff. He's been asking me for, he said the only thing he wants for um, Christmas is Call of Duty and this. So, uh, you know, I don't have a ton of money, so, but I will be packaging him. I, I always make him um, a fresh thing of fudge and I have like these little Christmas tins that I um, package it up in and I send it to him. Um, of course, you know, throughout the year, I send him all kinds of other stuff and I try to see him as much as I can, which is usually once a year. And then for Mark, I bought this, um, foot massager because he, he works so much, you guys. Like, I've never seen somebody work as much as he does. Um, and I'm always trying to think of ways to make his body feel better because he is 68 years old and he works like almost seven days a week, like 12 hours a day, every freaking year and week of the freaking year. <clears throat> and then I bought, I think that was it actually. Yeah, that was it. <clears throat> um, not that much, but, uh, oh, Mark, he bought me, I got a couple more things from Walmart that I'll show you real quick, but I got them through the mail. I didn't go to the store to buy them. I, he bought me this. It is a Pioneer, when, Pioneer Woman Tea Kettle. I got it in the mail last night, and I've already used it like four or five times because that's how much I drank tea. And then I got a um, this set of, what is it called? I'll show you. This set of spatulas and stuff. Um... Because I'm always needing, like when I serve pies and, and casseroles and stuff like that, lasagna. I'm always needing something like this and I never ever have it. And I don't have any of these spoons. So yeah, I bought those. Correction, Mark bought me those. Um, but yeah, that was what I got for uh, Christmas. That's not everything he bought me for Christmas. Obviously I'll do a Christmas, like a full haul of everything I got for Christmas this year. And it's, thank Thanks to Mark, um, you know, I give him a lot of slack and I, and I, you know, and sometimes really mean to him, but he is literally the best person that I know. Not only because of this, the material things that he buys for me, it's, it literally go, it, his help for me and the things that he has done for me has, knows no bounds. If it wasn't for him, like, I wouldn't be able to go fly to Alaska every year and see my child. If it wasn't for him, like, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things. <clears throat> I wouldn't be in school. You know, that costs money. I wouldn't have a computer. Like, I wouldn't have the things that I have if it wasn't for his hard, super hard work. And I always do everything I can to help him feel appreciated and loved. Um, I do everything he asks me to, no matter how weird it is or off it may seem to other people like he's got my back and I'll be damned if I don't have his back you know like I want to be able to oh this is gonna make me cry <laughs> I want to be able to take care of him one day uh, uh. just thinking about that like kills me I don't you guys, I don't know what I'm going to do if something happens to him or when something happens to him. Like, people don't live forever, you know? It sucks. It sucks so bad. Oh, why am I being so morbid? Anyway, sorry that got dark really quick, but, um, you know, I always am very conscious of how quickly the present moment turns into a memory. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little outing of Mark and I's, um, you know, all that to say, he's, I love him more than anybody I've ever loved in my entire life, obviously not more than my kids, but you know what I mean, um, 
he's just a great person and I love him and I love that all that he provides for me and does for me and my children and uh I just really hope to be able to give back to him one day you know so I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye